Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. Well, the rains we've had in the area certainly have helped our gardens. And one of the most popular plants that people will grow, at least for Halloween time, is pumpkins. And we have some pumpkins growing here at the Ag Research Center. And I've been told that they have squash bugs. And this is one of the most common pests on squash and pumpkins. And unfortunately, it can be a really devastating pest. Now, squash bugs are the gray shield-shaped insects that you might see later on in the summer crawling all over those pumpkin plants. And unfortunately, um, to show you right now, I don't have a live example, but we might have a, a instance here where we can show you one of those. But what you wanna look for to make sure you don't have this issue is go ahead and scout your plants. You wanna make sure and look at the undersides of all the leaves. Now, squash bugs tend to have two generations a season. And so right now, we would be seeing the first generation. And this generation can be a problem, but really it's not as big of an issue as that second generation which can be huge and devastating and so look for egg masses and there have been some egg masses removed from these leaves but you can see there's a couple of eggs still left over and they're kind of a reddish shiny tiny little egg and usually there's clusters of them on the base of the leaves and so you want to make sure and go through and look at all those and and remove the egg masses if you can just rub them off with your fingers um, try to take care of them that way if you see the little nymphs, the little soft-bodied baby squash bugs, essentially, that is what you need to treat. Once they get large and get to be that gray, shield-shaped insect, they're almost impossible to treat with an insecticide because they're pretty much resistant to it with those hard bodies. Um, there are many different things out on the market labeled for squash bugs. Like I mentioned, you want to make sure and get them early, so be out scouting right now and take care of any of those young first generation squash bugs that you can because as the season goes on and your plants get bigger and the pumpkins start to develop that's when they become a huge problem. Now I get a question often about how to organically control squash bugs. If you don't like to use insecticides one very common thing to try is to put a flat piece of wood or an old shingle or something down at the base of the plants during the daytime, those squash bugs tend to hide and they will hide underneath of that board and then you can easily squish them or kill them that way or I've even heard of some gardeners using vacuums to suck them up with a vacuum out of the garden. Any way that you can get them off your plants and out of the garden is a good thing. If you have questions about squash bugs or maybe other pests in your garden vegetables, please contact your local Extension office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension, Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ells County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.